question A. We have to mul multiply 5, 6 by 2. So we will rewrite 2 as a fraction and that equals 5 times 2 is 10 and 6 times 1 equals 6. Now we have 10 over 6 and both 10 and 6 divide by 2. If I divide 10 by 2, that's 5 and 6 by 2 equals 3. Now I have an improper fraction and I could change it into a mixed number. 3 fits into 5 once fully and then we have 2 left over. So the, the final answer, 1 and 2 thirds. Question B, we are multiplying 4 by 3 twentieth. I can rewrite 4 as a fraction and then multiply the numerators and the denominator. So that's 12 over 20 and both numerator and denominator divide by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So the final answer is 3 fifths. The other way you could have done this question is notice that 4 and 20 have a common factor. So 4 divided by 4 is 1 and 20 divided by 4 is 5 which leaves us with 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 5 is 5. There are two ways of adding for this question. We will do the more uh, challenging one or the longer way first. So the longer way would be to see that we have 4 sevenths, we have to add 10, so we will change 10 to a fraction. Once we have a fraction, we know we have to have a common denominator to be able to add fractions. So we will change 10 over 1, to 70 over 7 because we want a denominator of 7 and that equals 74 over 7. 7 fits into 74 fully 10 times and that leaves 4 over so 10 and 4 sevenths. Really we have 10 of something and we are adding 4 sevenths to it so the final answer you could have seen right away with no work involved that it's 10 and 4 sevenths. For question D it's going to be very similar so we'll do the longer way first. 6 over 1 take away 2 over 7. We need a common denominator so we will rewrite it as 6 times 7 over 1 times 7 take away 2 sevenths. 6 times 7 is 42 take away 2 sevenths that equals 40 sevenths. 7 fits into 45 full times and 5 times 7 is 35 so we have 5 left over so the final answer is 5 and 5 sevenths. The other way you could have thought is well if I have 6 of something and I'm taking away 2 sevenths then I will have 5 left over still and if I take 2 parts out of 7 away then there are 5 parts left. So 5 and 5 seventh is the final answer. Here we have to divide. So we, we will rewrite 10 as a fraction, 10 over 1, to see why 10 multiplies into the denominator. So when I divide, I, we turn it into multiplication and we multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction or we flip it. So it's 1 over 10 and the result is 7 over 80. As you can see, the 10, when it's division, the 10 multiplied into the denominator. For question F, we'll do the same thing. So 4 over 1 divided by 3 over 10. And again, to turn it into multiplication, the second fraction flips. So 4 over 1 times the reciprocal of 3 tenths is 10 thirds. That equals 4 times 10 is 40. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 fits into 40 13 full times and 13 times 3 is 39 so leaves 1 third. So the final answer is 13 and 1 third. More division questions. For question G again we are going to turn it into multiplication times. The reciprocal of 2 fifths is 5 halves and that equals 3 times 5 is 15, 10 times 2 is 20. 
15 and 20 have a common factor, which is 5. So 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 20 divided by 5 is 4. The final answer is 3 quarters. The way you could have arrived to this answer a little bit faster is to notice that 5 and 10 here divide by 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1 and 10 divided by 5 is 2. So now we have 3 times 1 for the numerator, which is 3, and 2 times 2 for the denominator, which is 4. Question H. Again, we have division. So 4 over 5 times reciprocal of 4 thirds is 3 quarters. Now we have 12 over 20. Both numerator and denominator divide by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3, and 20 divided by 4 is 5. So the final answer is 3 fifths. A way to arrive to this answer faster would have been to notice that here we have 4 divided by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So we have 3 fifths as the final answer. 2 thirds divided by 2 thirds is 1, because any number divided by itself equals 1. If you didn't notice it right away, what you would have done is turned it into a multiplication. So reciprocal of 2 thirds is 3 halves. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1, which would have led you to the answer of 1. Or you would have multiplied the numerators, that's 6, and denominators, also 6. And 6 divided by 6 is 1. Question J. Before we can multiply, we have to change the mixed number into an improper fraction. So we have 1 6 divided by 1 and 3 eighths, you can change to 11 eighths. The way you do it is 1 times 8 is 8, and plus 3 is 11, and denominator remains the same. Now we have to change it into multiplication, multiplied by the reciprocal. That equals 1 times 8 is 8, 6 times 11 is 66. Both 8 and 66 divide by 2. 8 divided by 2 is two, 4, and 66 divided by 2 is 33. Before we divide these fractions, we have to change the mixed number to an improper fraction. So we have 7 eighths divided by 1 and 1 half is 3 halves. The way you can do it is 1 times 2 is 2 and 2 plus 1 is 3 and the denominator remains. Now we would change it to a multiplication so 7 eighths times the reciprocal 2 thirds equals 7 times 2 is 14 8 times 3 is 24. Both numerator and denominator divide by 2 so 14 divided by 2 is 7 and 24 divided by 2 equals to 12. The final answer is 7 twelfths. One way to arrive to the answer a little bit faster would have been to notice that here 2 and 8 both divide by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 8 divided by 2 is 4 which leaves us with 7 times 1 in the numerator which is 7 and 4 times 3 in the denominator which is 12. Question L. Again, we have to change the mixed number to an improper fraction first. We will have 5 6 divided by 3 and 1 third is 10 thirds. That's 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10, and denominator remains. That equals 5 6 times 3 tenths. Now we have 5 times 3 is 15, 6 times 10 is 60, and 15 and 60 both divide by 15. 15 divided by 15 is 1, and 60 divided by 15 is 4, so the final answer is 1 quarter. Again, there was a faster way to arrive to this answer. 3 and 6 divide by 3, so 3 divided by 3 is 1, 6 divided by 3 is 2. 5 and 10 both divide by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, 
10 divided by 5 is 2. And what we have left is 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 times 2 is 4, so 1 quarter.